Marcus Gamboa and Rene Alvarado. They're fighting technically in the lightweight division, though both. Rene Camelo Alvarado. Oh. And your Yorke. René, vuelvo a repetir, presione todo el tiempo, protégense durante la pelea todo el tiempo. Le deseo suerte, deseen guantes. Gamboa is in activity. When he beat Salido over five years ago, had a big weight advantage just as he and that was only an okay win for him. He's been inactive, he's in against a tough, busy fighter tonight. The last time we saw Gamboa drop on him in the early rounds, he was faster than Terrence At Crawford. 30, which is a stock division. Um, he had on it, but it seemed pretty strong, so we'll have to see what happens. If he lands probably over 300 amateur fights, so he's a wonderful boxer. If you let him box, he's going to give you a hard time. And you can see the hands be professional fighters fighting out of Managua, Nicaragua. The language it was, but I think he said no hitting on the break. Oh, hitting on the break. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Round for Gamboa, all things considered, against a, a fighter who's been active, and has had some tough tests and passed some of them. Rub it up too much. Get close. All right. Get a little bit closer. You can do your combinations. And don't despair. For the national team as an early team. So he has been. It's hard to imagine Gamboa is already 35 years old. Robs a fighter of half a step, a, a microsecond. Really suffer. So far, he looks pretty sharp. Sure. With his footwork, I'm really impressed with him. Team against Terrence Crawford until the moment when Crawford repeated throughout the rest of Crawford's career, where he kind of lulls an opponent and begins to hit them with hard power shots. That's what he did to Gamboa. And actually, Gamboa, a um, ooh, hard right hand by Gamboa over the top. Yep. Hurt Alvarado. Crawford's a sensational fighter, naturally. Let's go. Sharp, sharp. Big guy. I mean, he, he, he waited at one The day before weigh-ins, it used to be day of weigh-ins, have a little more urgency than he's shown so far. If he gets knocked out, you, can you imagine how many cheers is going to be? You're right. That's not good but for him. people who appreciate the, the fact that he's been inactive and how skillful and talented he is. Joe Fight and Joe Promoter, if he gets knocked out, they will be all... To be an outstanding combination puncher. Probably what put him in the ring here tonight, but the months that followed turned out to be the most difficult. And even with it being a little bit dull, it's exactly. still they're more of a boxer than a, than a fighter or a yeah. puncher. So he's doing a better job. Different in that he was a Cuban, former Cuban amateur Star. offensive fighter. Fought like a gunslinger. Well, Walked come in off of a, how long he's been off, a year layoff? Again. And, and go back with a layoff, yeah. Exactly. So you can't go in like that when you know you're prone. And, to, and some of that's on Alvarado, too. He's got to get busier. He's also. I mean, regardless of, of whether you're enjoying watching it, you have to give credit to what they think so far of the entertainment value. Over the top. Of I haven't seen that one over the top. Touch of the money and over the top. You have to let come on. Entertaining. That now falls on Gamboa, and he seems to recognize it as he begins to hunt a little bit more aggressively for some contact. Right. Roy and I were on the same. That he could. Yeah. That and brought a burst of enthusiasm from the crowds we had seen coming from their great national teams. You're uh, Vargas. Vargas. Salido, if he chooses. But increasingly, the question in the 130-pound division, despite all of was a spectacular pro not long ago. And by the way, it's here. You've got to go at the time. He's right here when Gamboa throws his overhand right. He lands the left hook to the head, but usually this, that's what, that was more of a slap than a hook because of inactivity. Why is that, Roy? Because he's not been able to down or what? He hasn't had the rhythm. His rhythm is off right now, so his timing, everything about the way he's fighting is off. Everybody's fascinated, by the way, to see rules. That's fine. And, and Roy, if this is Gamboa rusty, oh, we're boy, back wait to right handed again. And he threw the MX, that was a slap because that's inactivity slap. You feel me? Yeah. Oh, it may not look as aggressive or as explosive. Yes, because some of those. What? So you see Gamboa with the overhand right, followed by a little bit better left hook. It's getting better. That one's a little harder. Still landed with the thumb, but then he got slung down. Gamboa right landed 51 out of 234. That's 22 percent. That's desultory. But he has to jump in, and like right there. See, I got caught with that right hand. He's hurt now. Yep. He's hurt. See what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. what he's running from all night long because he knows he's not been active. So it's not hard to down right now if Alvarado catches him with a good shot. That's why he's been safe. Oh, he hit him right down. 
for the second time. This is one of the reasons that the Cuban amateur style gets a bad rap. The aggressive fighters become docile, and because the Cubans, the offense, you wind up with a low punch out, not commercially. Alvarado lands. That because of the nature of the fight so far, a unanimous decision win is going to do a spectacular knockout somewhere between here and the end of round 10. And this is going to be another loss, too much of a lost career for Yuri Orkis yeah, Gamboa. It's not it could oh, this is the difference also between fighting at 120 lightweight limit. They can take your punches better, and their punches land with more authority. Advantage, having rehydrated to a far greater degree overnight. The featherweight, though. They're not crossing it over. Pressure here. Been paying us safe. See how Rado throw this faint down, come right over the top with a beautiful right hand, right on the chin. Very good right hand. Gamboa to try to score a knockout that would make this a much more, more aggressive and took risks. He got hurt by, by a guy who's really not in his class. Good jab by Gamboa. Good jab, but in, in isolation. What both corners have asked their fighters for, for both of them. Although M uh, Gamboa has clearly. Countering. Just that Alvarado is not giving him much to counter. Yeah, it's the shorter fighter. When the other guy wants to play defense, out. Those pot shots, though, aren't getting... He only can lose this fight by fighting crazy like that. Interesting to watch purely because it's a documentation of what's happening in Gamboa's career. But if you bought it... And both men will be gunning for big damage and possible knockout when they get into the ring. I guarantee you that we will get our money's worth of fireworks. Happy to hear that. <laughs> right as though they have a parked car running and waiting for them. That's but, you know, I, you know, I figured he'd come out punching in the eighth round, but he's eighth round. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I've got it so... Oh, there it is. Yeah, uh, Alvarado takes a terrific punch. Look at that. Now Gamboa gets it. I would have got disqualified. Might have got kicked out of the, the other guy was never the same. And Gamboa would take him out. Against larger guys, they're not having the same effect. Does. I think Berchelt is such a new and developmental name that any name opponent means something. Uh, you put Gamboa in with a guy like Miura. You give yourself the best chance at winning a big fight because this is his last shot. He's 35 years promotions, how patient they want to be in this process. If they care Bring about up Berchelt because if you're not ready for him, Lomachenko. Boy, as, uh, as soon as we take a look back at what I momentarily thought was a knockdown and Ben Slip. Yeah, you right tell here, me. Yeah, that's a right hand over the top that made contact with the head, and then this one makes who does not know Roy Jones's good <laughs> shot. You see, he shows his willingness to trade, like right there. Gets him knocked down, but he shows you that if he gets hit, he's willing to exchange. That's what kind of hurt him. has shown game. enough flashes tonight where the talent to me still, even if it's not pitched quite as high as it was six or seven years ago, is when he wants to be. And needs more fights. And this is off of him. It doesn't look like he's lost much. He can gamble more. Good hook by well, you know he Then he's going to upset his twin brother. Let's take one more look at this replay, largely because something happened. Took and a in shot most right of there. the rest of the fight, nothing happened. He took a shot right there. Landed the a shot right balance. there. Yeah, like a right grazing yeah. shot. Here we go. Here's, the, here's, there. there's the lucky touch. Yeah. And that is here. El Ciclón de Guantanamo, Yuri Orquez Gamboa. Not a single spectator applauded.